Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's currently 8.37, but I had a meeting at 6 a.m. And then um, another one at 7. I took both of those meetings and then, like, snapped for 30 minutes. I also went to sleep at 5. I don't, what, what time did I go to sleep? I went to sleep at 3 a.m. Um, I'm getting ready for a trip for the holidays. Um, COVID approved, of course. I'm going to get tested and all that stuff. But I kind of wanted to do, like, a day in the life. Because I keep saying I'm going to do it. But I really want you guys to see what working in regulatory is affairs is like for me as a consultant so generally i wake up in the morning make myself a cup of tea i also got two tea pulled yesterday so i may not be talking the best but i make myself a cup of tea and get ready for my meetings sometimes my meetings start as early as 4 30 because i have european counterparts i don't attend those meetings because it's just unrealistic for me to get the appropriate hours of sleep i need to function so i I'm okay with 6 a.m. meetings. Now I'm going to sit down and answer some emails. I have emails from days ago that I have not answered. In the last quarter, when you're working in regulatory affairs, I feel like, especially as a consultant, is everyone's pressed for time and trying to meet all these different deadlines. I'm um, trying to submit their applications for the years over. And with COVID, it's made it really hard for us because all these health authorities are focused on the COVID vaccine, which is amazing. I also have my next meeting at 10 o'clock, so that gives me about an hour and a half to answer emails. Yes, it takes that long because I have actions within them. So let's get my computer. Okay, so I open my email and the first thing I see is I need to draft a cover letter for a submission. Um, a lot of times we'll have to like submit protocol amendments or clinical information amendments or you know just updates to the application in general so whenever that happens you always have to have a cover letter with each submission um sometimes the cover letters are super extensive obviously i can't show you guys but for this cover letter it is um, an amendment to non-clinical information non-clinical is generally like farm farm kin or farm co so um it's gonna be like a one pager what you put in the line of the cover letter you obviously put who you're addressing it to depending on the department you're like emailing it to every department has different things so like it could be the or the orphan drug department it could be the um, office of tissues and advanced therapies department with within CBER, which is the center of biologics evaluation and research and then cedar is the center of drug evaluation and research yeah so that's what i'm working on now cover letters generally take me like 15 20 minutes I'll probably like draft all my cover letters for the submissions I have this week just so I can get out of the way. That was literally after opening one email. Yes, yes, I'm so happy that we have a new team member. It's definitely needed and necessary. I had to mute this part because I had a couple meetings with colleagues for a great chunk of the day. I literally just sit in meetings. Some of these meetings can easily be emails, but in regulatory, everyone's super collaborative. So it's two o'clock and I've had a few meetings. Um, and now I'm typing up meeting minutes from one of my meetings where we were discussing all the submissions we have planned for 2021 and some of 2022. So I should be done right now because I started at six, but I probably still have like two to three more hours left to do. I'm still drafting documents. So I will probably stop working around three because I have stuff to do. I feel like I look so tired, like there's dyes in my eyes. But um, it is 9.38 p.m. and I'm currently filming um, Career Savage videos actually. And there's my list up there of like all the stuff I need to film and Day in the Life is one of them. I ended up, I stopped working at around 3.30, which is about seven and a half hours. Didn't really take that much of a break. Actually, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really. So on the plane, I will be finishing up some documents, answering emails if I do have Wi-Fi and kind of getting organized for what's happening in the next year. 2021 is gonna come and it's gonna be crazy. But I hope that kind of gave you guys an insight into what a day in the life of regulatory is. Um, for me, since I do career savage on the side, I, after I'm done working, I run my errands and then I come home and do like my career savage stuff. But regulatory affairs consulting is like just looking at a bunch of documents, drafting documents, meetings all day, emails. It's like any other job except it's cool because you're part of like cutting edge um, therapies, which I really do love. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you leave comments down below. If you have any other questions about being like a consultant in regulatory, or if you have any questions about what it's like to work in regulatory, let me know and I'd be happy to make like a part two, but more extensive. 
I can? I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.